Yesterday, we approved the National Health Insurance formula, allocation formula for 2023, which is basically the formula or the, the uh, budget for the National Health Insurance Scheme. If you recall, last year when we were considering the 2022 formula, we realized that about 6% of the amount collected in 2021 was paid, which was the worst in the history of the National Health Insurance Authority. And if I may refresh your memory, in the year 2021, the, national, the government collected in excess of two billion and paid about 127 million Ghana cities. And that constituted about 6%. And we raised issues out of that as though the issues we raised last year angered the government. President Akufuado Baumia government decided that in the year 2022, they will pay absolutely nothing. Not one Ghana city was even released for the 2022 formula. So we approved the 2022 formula, and this year we are dealing with the 2023, but what we approved in the 2022 formula, nothing, absolutely nothing, has been released. And let me take you through the figures. In the 2022 formula, it was estimated, in fact, in actual collection, government collected about 3.6 billion Ghana cities. Out of the 3.6 billion Ghana cities, government took about 1.7 billion Ghana cities away. So they were supposed to pay the National Health Insurance Fund about 1.9 billion Ghana cities. And if you check the formula they presented yesterday, zero Ghana cities was paid. Nothing, absolutely nothing has been paid. Now, this is a dangerous trend to collapse the National Health Insurance Scheme. So I'll take you through what has been happening. From the year 2018, government took 197 million Ghana cities from the proceeds of the National Health Insurance Levy. The year 2019, government took 752 million Ghana cities from the proceeds of the National Health Insurance Levy. 2020, 277 million. 2021, 1.1 billion Ghana cities. 2022, 1.7 billion Ghana. So from 2018 till now, government has taken in excess of 4 billion Ghana cities from the National Health Insurance, which of course I don't know what they are using that money for. Now, after taking these huge sums of money, from the National Health Insurance Fund. The little that is left to be paid to the scheme to run it is also running into arrears almost every year. And so sometimes you hear that there's an outbreak of measles, there's an outbreak of polio, tetanus, and what have you. It is because some of these allocations are not paid on time, so we don't get the money to buy these vases, and it results in this outbreak of vases, and sometimes we lose some of our babies and children, and which is quite avoidable. You know, so the little amount that is left to be paid to the scheme are also not paid on time. So you also hear service providers saying that they are withdrawing their services. You hear subscribers going to the hospital or health facilities, and when they go, they are made to pay some monies. They are, made, they are made to pay some monies, which is described as co-payment. Subscribers go to the health facilities, and then they give them prescriptions to go and buy outside the health facilities because the National Health Insurance Fund has not paid them. And so the delay in the payment of the claims is always a threat to the survival of the scheme. And let me put it on record that the National Health Insurance Scheme is not the Ministry of Health. And so 
government has offloaded its responsibilities to the fund or to the scheme. So if you check the formula, you are seeing construction of health institutions, training institutions. You are seeing the purchase of vaccines. You are seeing con I mean, contribution to the Ministry of Health. That shouldn't be the responsibility of the authority or the scheme. It's a non-core function of the scheme. And so we need to put pressure on government as a matter of agency to release whatever money that is due to the National Health Insurance Authority to be able to run the scheme effectively. Again, during the consideration of the formula, we realized that the allocations, the IT component of the allocation is too high. So last year, for example, it was about 205 million Ghana cities. Of course, this year it's been brought down to about 83 million Ghana cities, but we still think that there should be a forensic audit, an independent probe into the IT component of the National Health Insurance. Scheme.